Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Norm's Friends. I'm David B., the reading guy. 603-404-9338. Bifid at yahoo.com. And again, as you can see, I'm solo today, so no guests, but how's this? Look at this crystal ball today, so that's all we'll be doing. I'm sure I'll get a few calls for reading with the new crystal ball. We'll see if it produces anything. You never know. It might not like my energy, but we'll see what happens. All right. In the meantime, I hope everybody is all getting all set for a uh, beautiful Thanksgiving. Don't pay attention to the naysayers on TV about the slaughtering in America. It's because, you know, think of the meaning of Thanksgiving, not what people, you know, these uh, American haters want you to think. Thanksgiving, it's a wonderful holiday, a nice family gathering. You get all that love, all that positive energy intermingling with one another. How can you go wrong with that? All right. So until we get that, well, we could do this uh, a general reading later. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So as usual, I have a famous quote, which I kind of like. It's, it's rather, you know, simple. I'm, I'm thirsty. One second. Thank you. All right. So the uh, famous quote for today, have no fear of perfection. You will never reach it. I mean, when you think about it, right? And people, you know, get stressed out and they get anxieties about it because that's what they strive for, perfection. So again, have no fear of perfection. You'll never reach it. None other than Salvatore Dali, which I think it was, I like his artistic works. <clears throat> Excuse me, by the way, he's even, Excuse me. Wow. Excuse me for one second. I went down the wrong way. All right. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> he's even. He even. Ugh, there goes my. <coughs> excuse me. He even <clears throat> um, published a, a new voice today. I don't know what's up with that. Good afternoon. Welcome to Norm's Friends. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm very well. What's on your mind? Well, this is Laura. I want to hear about the. I want to hear your um, crystal ball. You want? You want? One. You want to hear it? It doesn't. I want you to give me your reading. All right. I, I thought you couldn't make the show today. Well, I I'm, couldn't get there by five. All right. <clears throat> All right. My voice has changed now. I don't know what happened. Something went down the wrong way. All right. So the new crystal ball. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear uh, what's happening with it. All right. What's happening with it for you? See, it's a little bit difficult because I know some things about you, all right? But right away. I know. <laughs> right away, I can see, you know, what's with you're getting messages and you're discounting them. I don't know why you are, Laura. Take them all to heart. You, that's, I can see that in here. Also, where I see perhaps maybe a little bit of uh, sadness on the horizon here if, if you and it's it's not sadness news it's your mood for some reason I see that for whatever reason it, you know it's you sort of like 
you're waiting. I don't know what you're waiting for, but you're waiting for something that's not happening fast enough. You know what I mean? That type of sadness. I see that, and that's real close if it's not here already. The oh, other, I'm not quite sure. Mm, mm, well, think about it. Think, and I don't know, and just, just so you'll know, you know when I'm doing this, I don't really remember what I say, so. Um, yeah, I know. All right, so who I see also, you know, at the same time with the sadness, as soon as that happens, you're going to be jumping for joy. I could see that coming in. You're going to be over, you know, like from one extreme to the other, although the other extreme <laughs> isn't, you know, the, the, the lower sort of extreme really isn't you know that sort of devastating or sort of you know the draining shall we say but boy oh boy are you going to be jumping for joy and then um, <laughs> I'm also seeing um, the uh, 67 what a, you know the number 67 uh, the uh, the letters E and U, I'm seeing that. Um, <laughs> and who's Ed? I see Ed in here. I for, don't know. Maybe, Ooh, I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. Well, uh, I don't know any Ed. I really don't know any Ed. Well, think about it. Think about it. Because I'm seeing this, and this is no, this is, this is crystal clear. E, D, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, E D Ed. Yeah, what you think I said? I don't know. I don't know. Well, E D also is like a, 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 I think of education, doctorate in education. Ah, there you go. Is that what you have? Not for me. Oh. Oh, oh. good lord, no, that's not for me. <laughs> Those days uh -huh. are over. <laughs> uh huh. There'll be no heading back to the university for that. <laughs> right, and 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 also naturally. I know you have a dog, Zuma. So I have to go get him, Zuma. Yeah. I, he's acting up. I can see him acting up. Just so you'll know, but you know. <laughs> oh my, Zuma! Zoom, Zoom. He's yeah. Get, he's in doggy daycare. I gotta go get him. Get out! Oh no wonder. So he's acting up there now. Watch when you get there. Ask him. Wow! I would. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't realize, you know, that, that you, your career was that lucrative, that you can afford like $40, $50 a day doggy daycare. He goes well, once a week. That's oh. my big splurge. <laughs> and I don't do the mani Petty. I gave up the mani Petty so he could go to doggy daycare and play with his friends. <laughs> Anything so, for him. Ah, uh, very good. And I'm also seeing... I just tell you what I see here, so it's up to you to make sense of it. Who yeah. is, there's somebody that they're very, very graceful, you know what I mean? They're graceful, and they flow nice and smooth. I see whoever that is, they're, they're, you'll be interacting with them very, 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 very shortly. Very shortly. No, I have no idea. Unless it's me. Well, I mean, you are graceful when you want to be, when you want to be, when you want to be. I'm also seeing, more or less. This, I'm also seeing too now, um, who you, who you sort of like bucking horns with. I see that. Very, I see that. Not, you know, a big job, but I, I see, I see uh, bucking horns with somebody. There. Anyone in my family, that could mean pick a name. <laughs> oh, all right, there you go. <laughs> also. Could be anything, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Also, I'm going to, and you're going to be, well, somebody's trying to, somebody's trying to keep this on the, what's the word I'm looking for, on the QT, on the DL, but you'll see, I'm also seeing now somebody's, that you know, I see it. You're going to be getting new soon of um, a, a pregnancy. So, is your cat spayed? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
it better not be my daughter, but it could be my niece. She's um, looking to she's looking um, to start a family. Aha! Uh-huh. Well, there you go. She so you'll be hearing news about that soon, which I think she already knows, Aww. and she's not spilling the beans yet. So just so you know. Um, Oh, you know, I could go on and on. Let's see here. Where are you now, by the way? Home? Yeah, I'm at home. Oh. I, gotta, I, gotta, I get home and then I gotta go get the dog. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, also, uh, what? Oh, boy. Who? There's I, this just tons of energy around, and I'll tell you, there's lots of energy. This remember when I said about the uh, the very graceful person again. they mm-hmm. and they're definitely, definitely gonna sort of like be at you with this gracefulness, and they, you know, they definitely they're gonna insist that they get a point across to you. They got a story to tell you, and they're not going to relent. So, and it might sort of, maybe that's the sadness of you being irked a little bit, but just so you know. So if it starts and, you know, like you're telling yourself, come on, you're annoying me, just remember, take some nice deep breaths and just let them go on because you'll just uh, make yourself more irritable if you try to brush them off. Just so you know. I like Just. that, yeah. No, I like that. There's a couple of people I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like that, though. Thank you yeah. so much. I yeah. love the reading. That was amazing. You're very good. I keep, you know, once I do this, I could go on and on and on, but we'll let other people yeah, call in. Thanks for calling. Enjoy your All Thanksgiving. Right. You All right, hopefully. Send me some dates. Yes. Send me some dates. I will. All right. <laughs> thanks for calling. I will have a, a nice Thanksgiving if I don't see you beforehand. All right. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye. All right. So that's one. So all we got was. Oh yeah, I said the. Uh, I didn't finish the little thing about the famous quote, Salvatore Dali. He's also uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Did a tarot deck. I like the. Uh, illustrations. He illustrated the tarot deck. All right. I like the illustrations. However, it's like the last time I looked, it was around 400 bucks for the deck of cards. So I'll have to wait until, you know, the money falls from the sky. But anyway, and one of the things, this is, goes back to 1999. I was Here's a quick story. I was in London, and I wanted to go through the channel, even though you did, it's just the black nothing if you look out the window. It's not even like the subway with light bulbs that you pass. It's just black. But anyway, I wanted to do the, to go through the channel. So I was in London, so for a side trip, plus it was the bullet train. The, it's called the Eurostar. I took it to Paris, and it was didn't take long to get to Paris on the Euro stop. But once I got there, and I didn't realize this, the highlight of my trip, the Salvatore Dali Museum. It was fantastic. I loved it. So that was that. So now for all you animal lovers out there, the fun facts today. Naturally, I'm a cat guy. So the fun facts today will have to do with what? Cats, of course. All right, so let's naturally five fun facts. And by the way, again, we got one call. Thank you, Laura, for broken my crystal ball here. It will get better. That was the first one. So it's, see, I was manhandling it. So it's still, you know, adjusting, getting used to my energy. Anyway. So, questions, comments, you want a reading, 603-640-3091. You have any, want to give us some Thanksgiving tips, by all means. So, all right, well, let's get back to the fun facts. 
five fun facts about cats. All right? First of all, naturally, like I said, I'm a cat guy. And this is a nice dig for all you dog people who think dogs are better than cats. All right? Here's this. Are you ready? Cats make about 100 sounds. 100. Dogs only make about 10. All right? So man's best friend. No one of man's best friend. He's dumb. All right. How's this? Which <laughs> I never ever knew this happened until I read this today. <laughs> All right? Get this one. The first cat in space was a French cat named Felicet, F-E-L-I-C-E-T-T-E, a.k.a. Astro Cat. In 1963, France blasted the cat into outer space. Electrodes were implanted in her brain and sent neurological signals back to Earth. I never heard anything about it. I don't know why they didn't release any of this. Anyway, are you ready? The good news, she, <laughs> she survived the trip. She survived the trip. All right, here's another good one. And I, I think this number is off. You can agree with me or not. It's up to you. I think this number is low. Approximately 40,000 people are bitten by cats in the U.S. annually. I think it's low. I mean, there's probably 40,000 people just in mass that get bitten by cats. I don't know. All right, here's this. This is interesting. I knew part of it. I didn't know the whole thing. A cat rubs against people not only to be affectionate, but also to mark its territory with scent glands around its face and I that I knew but I didn't know this I didn't know this part of it the tail area and paws also carry the cat's scent imagine that so every step it takes every step you take right they check each other out because that's the scent that's in the pads also and Lastly, this is very fascinating to me, which I never knew, all right? A cat's brain is biologically more similar to a human brain than it is to a dog's. Are you ready? I love this. Both humans and cats have identical regions in their brains that are responsible for emotions. And who says cats don't show love? Right here. They have their own special part of the brain. They know, I, when I do dog fun facts, we'll see. But cats, right? It's right here, black and white. I wrote it. All right? So there you go. There's the fun facts for today. So I hope you enjoy those. Let me put them away so we clear it out a little. Um, Probably, I bet people forgot that when we're on Monday this week instead of Wednesday. So that's the story with that. So, I, you know me. Oh, before Abigail, it says Abigail would like a reading. Ab will be, Abigail, before I get to your reading, I just want to, naturally, you know me, I have to throw a little politics in there, and this is very local, and I mean very local. This has got to do with Manchester, New Hampshire recount, and we all know how the Democrats always uh, talk about voter suppression, the Republicans or the GOP or the white supremacists or the, you know, what? Good afternoon. Welcome to Norm's Friends. How are you today? Good, thank you. Uh, I have one cat, by the way. He's a very good Catholic. <laughs> All right. What? How, how do you? Well, let's hear the. What's the connection here? I know it's a joke, but what do you mean he's a Catholic? Well, no. You're talking about cats. Well, I have to just, you know, use the word cat, Catholic. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now, here's what I'm yes. Uh, I'll make it short. Right. Uh, I just found out last week. 
that my father voted Democratic. Uh huh. And the funny part about it, when he was alive, he always <laughs> voted Republican. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you, and you. Thanks for calling. I love it. That was crazy. <laughs> it's true what he said. It's true. That's why they always stop the counting when the race is close because they, you know, once the polls close, it's all computerized. As soon as the polls close, three seconds later, they got the whole list in front of them, the whole voter list of whatever municipality it is, and they know who hasn't voted and why can't they give you instant results because they have to vote for these people that didn't vote when what he's saying is true. I mean, you know, people, oh, blah, blah, blah. No, you know, you're so brainwashed that you, you refuse to even... Uh, acknowledge that something like that might go on. Good afternoon. Welcome to Norm's Friends. How are you today? I'm doing great. What's on your mind? Well, this is Tammy. I was wondering if I can get a reading. I know I was supposed to call you and I got caught up. I was so busy. Wow, you must have been busy because that was over a week ago, Tammy. I know, I know. Very, very busy. But wait, do you want a tarot reading? Poor Abigail, I haven't forgot about you. I got the note right in front of me. Right, did you want to, I got tarot, these are soul cards, so. I'll, I'll take anything you want to give me. All right, let's do the, because I remember when you called, it was for a tarot reading, so. Excuse me, that's what it's telling me to give you. I'll pick out what I'm going to do is, give me a minute here, and I'm going to spread these cards out, but I need some room, and I don't want to spread them out right here with the crystal ball. So we have its own thing for here. So Tammy, what I'm going to do is we'll do a three-card reading. I'm going to spread these cards out. I'm going to go... I'm moving my hand over real slow. I'm not looking, and I'm not looking at the monitor to know where my hand is. But you tell me when to stop one at a time, and I'll p pick up the cards. How's that? And we'll do it one at a time, and that's you always get the cards you're supposed to get. Sounds good. Stop. Okay. Well... Okay, there's one card. All right, I'll do it again. And you can tell me when to stop, and we'll stop. Stop. All right. And... All right, and you get to say stop one more time, Tammy. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you want. Stop. No, okay. And let's see, it's this one here. All right. Okay, just let me put these back in a pile. These are called, these are soul cards. They're tarot cards, but they're just basically, you know, we'll say like, well, I'll show you. <laughs> It, this is the Four of Swords. It's basically, it's not like, you know, there's no illustration. It's just, see it? It's Four of Swords. So, what I'm going to, we'll start with, and, all right. Oh, no. Anyway, so, it starts with the Four of Swords. For me, is you know, it's decisions, or it's, you know, the uh, sort of, your thought process, you know, your mentality, what's going on uh, mentally with you. So for the Four of Swords, you're, I'm going to say, you know, it's been nice, solid, uh, grounded, you know, your, 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 the thoughts that you're sort of analyzing, keep up the good work. I know this last card is so, so, so I know all the card, you know, the whole thing. But anyway, so keep going on it. And I know it's sort of, I'm getting the sense that you're 
feeling mundane about it and you know but try not to sort of you know push it this way or sort of lean that way just keep looking at the situation in a nice open even keeled manner so you know what i mean because it's not you know you don't really want to sort of try to you know test destiny because then you end up in a worse place than you're at now so and i can i can feel it you know it's what what you're going through now like i said you know sorting out just it's going at a nice pace. It's nice and solid. It's smooth. So keep going, you know, going with that type of flow. And the next card we have is, there we, well, there we are, is the Two of Pentacles. To me, Pentacles, you know, it, it, it's work or it's, you know, sort of uh, possessions, that type of thing, you know, so what I would say is this really going back to the first card, the four of swords, your thought process, which you're trying to work out. There's really not a lot of work to do here. It's a lot gonna it's the situation is isn't as pressing or you know, sort of at you as you think it is if you sort of just you know stay on that nice even kill pace you'll realize it that you know it's nice and even you know the wheels are starting to turn where they and of course this one it, now we have the three of swords and but you can't really see it too good here but it's the three of swords and they're all going through a heart. So with this, we'll go back to the first one. Uh, I'm going to say there's some type of uh, friction going on uh, between a relationship. I'm not so certain that this relationship is, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship. It could be a friend it could be a love re relationship, but I'm just not feeling it. If it is a love relationship, it's not beyond repair yet, just so you know. And I'm not, like I said before, I'm just not getting it that it's that, very, you know, a devastating, a severe, you know, anxiety type uh, situation that's going on right now. But... I'm getting the sense that perhaps there might have been some type of misunderstanding or, you know, you've had words with someone enough to sort of, you know, create some animosity between the two of you. But it will, and we'll, I'll cut the cards once more and we'll just see what kind of outcome it's going to be. How's that sound? I'm going to okay. take... I'm going to take... Sounds I just, good. I just pulled out... It is a friend thing. <laughs> it is, all <laughs> right. Is See, and, thing. All right, Ian. All right. The Knight of Wands. All right. So, to me, Wands is the direction you're going, you know, the what you're sort of aspiring to, uh, an outlook that you have, a goal that you want to attain. So, and... The night, all the nights are on horses, and all the nights are moving forward. So naturally, you know, they're the only sort of tarot cards that, you know, are on a horse. So let's face it, with the horse's action, so there you have it, a nice good result. It will be resolved. So not to fret, Tammy, there you have it. Uh, Thank you. You're very welcome. So, now that you're on the phone, you have plans for Thanksgiving? I am. I, all my grandchildren will be here, my family. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm cooking. <laughs> all right, good for you. And you could even send a meal over to whoever the person is that you're sort of not getting along with 
to the best right now. You could, maybe you want to, you could butter them up a little, you know what I mean? Sort of put some, you know, yeah. extend the olive branch that way. Because um, I'm getting the sense right. that they're the stubborn one, not you, so. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, all right. Thanks. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thanks for calling, Tammy. You have a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, and you enjoy yours. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, so, Abigail, I haven't forgot you. Like I said, let me just clear the cards. Anyway, what I was going talking about before was how the Democrats are always talking about voter suppression, right? The GOP, old white guys like me don't want you voting. I don't know why they say that, but they do. And like, as I always say, there's a lot of well-programmed people out there that believe everything that they hear from the Democrats. And though, let's face it, the media gives the Democrats the attention. So you get in one view, God forbid you open your eyes up and, you know, at least acknowledge that there's another side to the fence. But I mean, I get attacked on Facebook for this stuff, but one second, please. Thank you. So I just want to bring this to everyone's attention because talk about local, this has to do with a recount right here in the wonderful Queen City of Manchester, all right? So, and I hope I didn't delete it because otherwise then I won't be able to read it to you. All right. This is from the New Hampshire Journal, all right? So, um, first of all, and I'm just going to put a little, start it with a little caveat from Maggie Hassan about, remember her, she always said, uh, the Republicans are a threat to democracy. But this is about a recount right here in a good old hometown of Manchester, New Hampshire, all right? Let me read this. Just two weeks ago, New Hampshire Democrats were accusing Republican candidates of undermining election integrity and confidence. Oh, excuse me. This is what Maggie Hassan said. Excuse me. Just two weeks ago, New Hampshire Democrats were accusing Republican candidates. Wait, let me start over again. Forget about Maggie Hassan. That's coming after this sentence. Just two weeks ago, New Hampshire Democrats were accusing Republican candidates of undermining election integrity and confidence in the democratic process. Quote, democracy is on the ballot. This is Senator, Ma close quote, Senator Maggie Hassan. However, good afternoon. Welcome to Norm's Friends. How are you today? David, I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. What can I... Do you know I... who this is? I don't know who this is. This is Sonia. Oh, I wasn't sure. I did hear traffic. How are you today, Sonia? Oh, I'm pretty good. I'm just driving home from Boston. Now, oh, lucky you. In traffic or no traffic today? Oh, oh, my goodness. Yes, plenty of traffic. Unfortunately, there's no... It's not any less than any other day. Oh, uh, how come, you know, you live in Lowell. Why don't you take the commuter rail? Well, you know, I just haven't gotten that far yet. I'm not I'm not used to taking the commuter rail, so I kind of want to... Uh, yeah, but when I... When I lived in Lowell, I loved it. I, when, if I had to go in a, in a town, I'd take the commuter rail. I loved it. Seven stops. Okay. You're in town. Low cost. You don't have to worry about traffic. You don't have to worry about parking. Stress-free. Anxiety-free. What more could you ask for? Yeah, I definitely need that, more of that in my life because this driving and these people are just stressing me out. There you go. See? Give it a shot. Give it a shot. I just might do that. I've been thinking about it, so I've been thinking about giving it a try, so maybe that'll be my New Year's resolution. Sure, <laughs> why not? Why not? Less driving, or train. There you go. Hey, and by the way, next time you see me, remind me, when I was meditating the other day, I got a message for you. <laughs> you did? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> so you can't tell me right now? I have to wait till I see you? 
Well, yeah, because it's got to do with um, mediumship, so. Okay. You know, I mean, I could tell you now, but then I'd run out of time, uh, you know. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Well, hopefully we'll get together soon because I do, I have a gift for you, so. All right. I love gifts. How perfect and wonderful is that? See that? I love it. Look at the smile on That's my it? face. You can't see it, but there's a big smile on my face. All right. I can hear it in your voice. All right. Hey, so what's on your mind today, Sonia? I was just uh, calling in to see if I could get a reading. I don't really have a specific question. Um, All right. So just a general, see what comes up. Uh, Chris, did Laura call you and say, call David? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> <laughs> and she told me about your big crystal ball that you have, too. So I can't wait That's to right. That. It's, it is. It's like the size of, it's the size of a grapefruit. So I, I take it, do you, do you, no, okay, well, I'm going to ask anyway, would you like a crystal ball reading or tarot soul cards reading? Um, I'll go with the crystal ball reading. All right. Um, okay, let's see. First of all, I'm going to start, all right, who... You know, you know me, I hate fishing, but in this case, I'm just going to say, who's the nerdy person that's around you? Just, I, I don't know how else to explain it, but there's just somebody that's really close to you, but they're like really, really nerdy. Just to, you know, I don't know who that could be. Um, huh. Yep. And also, boy, oh boy. What's up with this? I could see this might have to do with your job. I see somebody, I see someone here sort of, not really demanding, but let's say putting pressure, pressure on you to sort of like, you know, to jump through hoops, shall we say, for lack of a better term. So it could, uh -huh. it could be with work, but that's what I'm seeing. It's like, you know, you sort of, to, to, to please them, they, you know, it's like that's what they're expecting. You got to jump through hoops for them. So I'm not so well, sure. Well, today that feels like my kid. I mean, my son is, uh, you know, I definitely um, feel like he's been a little needy lately, but I also have two other kids who are grown. You know, all my kids are grown. Uh -huh. um, but my other, I just got back from a trip to New York. Um, just tending, you know, like getting uh, socks and underwear for the kids and, you know, just like taking them to Target, seeing what they need. So it's been, uh -huh. um, the, the whole weekend has just been dedicated to getting my kids situated and what they, what they whatever they needed, I got them for them. Ah, <laughs> see, good for you. And here, all right, this is what also I'm seeing. It's, it's I'm seeing, you're sort of like, you were focused, but for some reason you sort of, things sort of got sidetracked or something. It will straighten out, and this is on uh, a pretty prevalent issue for you. Uh, but it will, you know, like I, like I said, you've gotten sidetracked, but lo and behold, not too long, you'll see it will start making sense again to you however when it does when you sort of notice yourself you know coming around that bend then it's all uh, it's, it's a you're gonna have to just make you know one or two small adjustments and you'll be well on your way so okay that's very good to hear and i feel like that's just the job and you know the nine to five and i just started that a year ago so i've been you know, like since I think um, October of last year, so just for about a year now, I've been trying to kind of get up to speed with everything I need that's expected from me from the nine to five job. And I feel mm -hmm. like it's taken away a lot of my focus from the mediumship and the tarot and the t in intuitive stuff. Uh -huh. So I think that, I feel like that message is like connected to, you know, okay, so once. Once I get a routine, a good routine down with a nine to five, I can kind of do it on autopilot and then really focus my energy on 
on the reading. Uh -huh. That's what I would love. They, so, you know, just so you know, right, you're great to give a reading from a crystal ball because, you know, when I say all this stuff to other people, well, what does that mean? And, it, you know, it's like, you know, I'm telling you what I see here. It's up to you, you to put the meaning to it. You know what I mean? Wow. Wow. Yes, I do. <laughs> Very yes. good. No, it makes total sense. It really does. And it's such, it's so validating to hear that, okay, you're, you're getting through it. Like, you're still making progress and uh -huh. it's going to happen for you. <laughs> and... And also what I'm seeing is, is uh, in the not too distant, not too distant future here, rather quickly, I see there's a little bit of good luck that you've been hoping for. You think that good luck's going to come to fruition. As a matter of fact, it's even sort of, it's going to blossom into even sort of, shall we say, more than you realized it would. So... There you go, really? but you oh, you got some that. good luck coming, and I mean, yeah, you'll definitely notice it too. You'll definitely, definitely see it, feel it, the whole shebang. The and whole. And that's in like the next couple of months. Oh, sooner than that, sooner than that, I would say I in the so. right. I would say in the next couple of weeks, sooner than a couple of months. Okay. Uh, um. All right, and then That's fantastic news! I love it. Yeah. Yes. All right, and then this is well, you know, it's like I get bombarded with stuff, so sometimes I I'm trying to figure out how to say this. It's oh, uh, maybe it's the oh boy, who is I'm getting this big sort of and it's female it this is definitely female all right and th this is someone close to you and i don't know why but i can see she's always got to be one up on you i can or not only with you with people in general she's always got to be the one upper so just so you know i see her rare oh. I see her rearing her her ego, just so you know. Okay, yeah, I don't know who that would be off the top of my head. I'd think about that one. All right, but uh, that's going to be half that. You'll see that pretty soon, too. Um, okay. All right. Also, um, I see a bit of... Well, again, see, I mean, I'm going to... I think this is going to have to do with one of your kids. I can see... Well, friction coming up. Or as a matter of fact, it might be some ongoing friction that you sort of thought went by the wayside, but it hasn't. So, just so okay. you know, you know what I mean? It's sort of like a little bit of anguish that you'll see, because it, this is going to be happening shortly also. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't know what that would be, but we'll see. Because I've had, you know, uh, one of my children has a little bit of a health issue, nothing major, but, mm -hmm. you know, that um, mm -hmm. there might have to be some, like, minor surgery done. Um, so I didn't know if that might be something. Would that be friction or? Well, a little anguish, right? Could be, like I said, anguish. Yeah. So, um, okay. all right. So I'm um, also, let's see. Um, all right, let's, I'm trying, I want to get, see if I can get some numbers here or letters. I'm not, for some reason, let's see what jumps out here. Um, all right, maybe this is a whole message here. M-Y, M-Y what? My what? Let's see. I'm going to say, well, all right, this is what I'm going to say. I see the... Letter M and the letter Y, just like that. So my, all right. So what okay. I'm gonna, and naturally this is the way stuff just jumps out at me. But so okay. I'm gonna say because the reading is for you. So my, right? This is you saying this. So in the your person, right? 
pay attention to your dreams. Just pay attention to your dreams. You're going to get something out of your dreams. You'll see. Okay. It's very, a nice sort of smoothing message or connection, but you'll see it's, you, it's pay attention to your dreams. And that okay. one, yep. and that one again, you'll definitely, definitely sort of rem remember it. And also, again, of course, we know who has the dog, but I, it's not, it's not Laura's dog. I see another dog, sort of like, uh, I don't know really, uh, we'll say like a 30, a 35 pound dog. I see that around you also. So if you know someone with that dog, I'm just telling you what I see. Um, I mean, I have a dog, Lily. Well. She's about 60, 50 pounds. 50 well, to 60 pounds. All right. So I'll take it. Well, th she's there anyway. All right. And then. All right. And this is what I'm going to end with, with this because this is coming through loud and clear. All right. So whatever's going on now, like I, you know, like I, it's probably going back to what I said. Remember, you're focused and you sort of lost a little bit of direction there. Right. The yep. Short. Anyway, so what I see is you got a little bit, you know, you got a ways, not a long ways. You'll be realizing it soon, but you got a ways to go with sort of like feeling lost or, you know, out of focus or, you know, sort of missing, you think you're missing the, the call or whatever it is, but not to fret, not too much longer. You'll see all of a sudden again, it's all, will all start coming together and you'll notice a sort of nice breath of fresh air shall we say nice uplifting breath of fresh air so that would be very welcome all right anyway listen i don't have a whole lot of time left from poor abigail's been waiting for a reading so thank you for calling thank and you david that was amazing i really appreciate your uh, your time and your intuition it was great anytime my pleasure and i hope you did, weren't distracted from paying attention to the cars all around you but <laughs> nope, I'm hands free. So oh, all right, I'm very done. good. Thank you, though. Thank all right. you for taking my call. Okay, anytime. My pleasure. We'll talk soon, Sonia. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Okay, happy Thanksgiving. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Bye bye. All right, so I'm not going to be able to read that little thing, but what I'll say it real quick instead of reading the article. It's I think it's Ward 6 wanted a recount, and it's close. There's not a lot of votes there, but. They found ballots, these ballots that they overlooked. Now, what, what, this is the Democrats, by the way, the Democrats assuming to not have those ballots counted. But yet, they're the ones that are accusing the other side of voter suppression. If that's not voter suppression, suing, so you, they don't count your vote in the recount, I don't know what it is, but just that's what you voted for. Good afternoon. Welcome to Norm's Friends. How are you today? Good. How are you? I was a friend of Norm's, and I studied with him, and he taught me a few things, and I was hoping to get a reading. All right. You know what? Let me just, I'm going to have to do a quick tarot reading, and I'll tell you why, because poor Abigail, she's been waiting now for practically the whole show it. to you a reading. You want me to wait, and you do Abigail? Well, I'm all, I don't have much time. You can call, but you're more than welcome to call next week. You want to do that, and that way I can spend more time. I'll, I'll call next week, but if you can give me just a quick card, I'll just take a card. All right, a quick card. All right, here we... Not bad. Here we go. It's the Five of Swords, all right? So really quick with the Five of Swords. You got a few things uh, pressing on you. Not too bad. A few of them you, you might seem you think they're uh, difficult or, you know, you're going to need a lot of work to straighten them out, but you're not. You're going to, it will, you'll see they'll sort of go by the wayside. Not all of them, but, you know, you'll figure it all out and s sooner than you think and a lot uh, easier than you think with not exerting as much energy as you thought you had to. All right. Awesome. So are you on Mondays or Wednesdays? No, Wednesdays, but this week we're on Monday because Thanksgiving, so the studio is closed. Oh, okay, so I'll call on Wednesday next week. 
Thank you. All right. Very good. Thanks for calling. Thank you. What's your, your name? My name's David. The reading David, guy. Nice to meet you. Same. Thanks. Thanks again. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Thank you. Bye-bye. You Bye. Too. All right. Finally, Abigail again. If you want another reading next week, let Scott know right away, and I promise right away without dilly-dallying. All right? Because... We don't have a lot of time left for this, but I'll start, Abigail, all right? Let me clear it real quick. Spin it around as I clear it. All right, Abigail. Let's see. Our, Abigail, I'm t again, I remember a little from before, but, you know, you, you gotta, you're at a crossroads now. I could see you're at a crossroads. You have to make a decision. You just can't be sort of like straddling the fence. You have to make up your mind. And don't worry about making the wrong decision or making the right decision. Make the decision because I'll tell you why. The decision that you make is going to be the decision that leads you to victory. You're going to feel really good about it. So... Don't be afraid to make the decision. And when you're making the decision, I'm also seeing there's somebody that's sort of right at you. You know, you can't, don't, like, I'm getting the sense that perhaps this person browbeat you or they're sort of right at you, you know, giving you grief. They give you nasty looks. I can see that. And what you have to do is, you know, don't back off from them. Stay right there. Keep a nice, you know, grounded, sort of not non-confrontational look, non-confrontational stance. And don't back down from them. Otherwise, you know, they'll just continue and continue and continue and nothing gets accomplished with that. So there you have it. And all right, again, and I already know you're doing this, you sort of, Stop hesitating with this decision. I can, you, you, know, you know the decision, the correct decision in the situation here. I can see it. You know what the correct decision is. You've been you're looking at it. You've, you've looked all around. You're looking outside the box. It's time, like, again, one side of the fence or the other. And once you, once you, you hop off the fence, Whichever side you hop off, I'm telling you, you're going to be amazed. You're going to be very pleased. You're going to be happy. You're going to feel very, very content with the decision you make. And again, like I said, whatever um, decision you make, it's going to be the right one for you. And you're going to be ha happy that the decision you made, you made it. So, and we don't have a lot of time left, just a couple more minutes. So let's see what else we have for Abigail. All right. I also, I also see, okay, Abigail, this is a youngster. All right, not, you know, a youngster. Let me take that back. This is a younger person, all right? A younger person that's very jovial. And, you know, younger people, they're not as sort of, set in their way, shall we say, or that, you know, they have a little more sort of reckless outlook or, you know, they're not as concerned as us older folks are. At the same time, if you're still questioning which decision, which side of the fence you want to get off, this person, they're waiting in the wings, they're waiting there with open arms, just waiting for you to ask, you know, what you would do, you don't have to sort of lay your heart out on your sleeve, but, you know, just sort of broach the subject easily. I have, you know, I'm in a little quandary here. I don't know if I should do this or do that. What do you think? And see what they say. This person is, and they're, they're genuine and they're sincere and they have your best interest in the forefront for them. And I'm... Um, this has all got to do with the same decision. Abigail, look, I'm, 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 I gotta finish this quick. 
I'm feeling and I'm seeing it here that you, you think you're trapped. You're not trapped. All right? You're not trapped. Get that out of your mind. You're not trapped. All you have to do is, you know, stop telling yourself that because it's not true. All right? You know, fear, fake evidence appearing real. That's what fear is. So, wash, you know, throw that in the river. Let it go downstream and let it take itself away. And once you do that, you'll see all along, you'll be going like that. Oh, there it is right there. How easy is that? So there you have it. I have to go. I want to thank everyone for calling today. I enjoy giving the readings. However, we don't have a lot of time. Again, I'm David B., the readings guy, 603-404-9338. Give me a call. If you want a reading, contact, question, comment, whatever you want, I'm there. I enjoy reaching out giving you comfort. All right. And again, everybody have a nice, wonderful, loving, peaceful, uplifting, joyous Thanksgiving dinner with your loved ones, whoever they may be. All right. And of course, please also two things that we have to remember. All right. Please. One. Remember, and it's true, you can't be dumb if you want to be free. And more importantly, remember, you are a winner.